Good morning. Good morning. It's snowing. I know, it's freezing. We were hoping for snow. We got it. And we got it. <laughs> Okay, these snowflakes are so really beautiful. Pretty. Like I feel like they have so much dimension and shape. Each one is truly unique. <laughs> Jake wants to go walk out on the water. I'm going to go. Like it's, it's ice. Oh my gosh, you have the camera on your neck. That scares me. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think of Boston life? I love it, it's fun. Yeah. Look at this park, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. I feel like I have much more of an appreciation for this park ever since I read the duck book. Yeah, <laughs> the make way for ducklings. Yeah, we bought it at the Curious George bookstore the other day and it's so cute. We've read it twice now. Yep. And it's a really darling book. And the ducks come to this park. Yeah. On the this, little island. This is where they want to be and end up. And it's cute how they get here. But I just feel like this park has so much more meaning to me now. <laughs> How cute. Here's the tortoise and the hare. Here's our avocado <laughs> toast. And this is my cute friend, Rachel. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> back at the Boston Public Garden and the sun's out now and shining. Jake had a few work meetings to go to so I wanted to come out walking around on our last day in Boston and I was just walking around by our hotel and I think I found the cutest street ever and seriously everywhere you look it has like tons of fun shops and just lots of cute brick but anyways, it's just super darling. And then I was like, I wanna make sure I remember this street because I wanna come back to it. And I look up and the street's called Newberry. And I had heard so many great things about the street. And I was like, oh my gosh, I had no idea. This is a famous street everyone was talking about. But it's super cute. But here's the Georgetown Cupcake. And that's one of my favorites in DC. So I think I gotta stop there for a little treat. Okay, check out how cute these cupcakes are. Went for the Valentine's ones. There's a rose frosting, a little kitty. That's a red velvet in the right corner and chocolate lava. All right. Look who came to join me. <laughs> yeah, and so we're gonna explore this Old South Church. Yeah, it looks pretty 1669. neat. 1669, that's pretty old for the um, United States. That's really old. Okay. How fun is this? We came into the Lint store and we're gonna choose some treats. Did I say the name right? Chocolate. We got some of these coconut ones at Christmas time and they are amazing. Check this out. There's lime, 
Mango. Caramel, mango, extra dark. Extra dark. Ooh, what other kinds are there? <gasps> the special Valentine's one. Mint, sea salt, orange, star, sea, atila. <laughs> Hazelnut, coffee, raspberry, Irish cream, almond. Okay, I feel like we need to make a big container. Oh, yeah. Or the chocolate heart box, because that's really cute. We have to get two of each so we can each try one. Mangoes and cream. <laughs> I want to try the Valentine's special. Of course. Okay, we picked out 18 yummies. Okay, let's go get them and eat them. Yay! Everyone keeps telling us about Italy and how we have to go eat some noodles there. This looks pretty cute though. <laughs> this way, Italy. It says eat, shop, and learn. There's a couple restaurants in here. You can get bread. You can get chocolates. Yummy pizzas. This is so cute. It's just a fun marketplace, but they said we gotta go to the restaurants in the back. Or you can get fresh fish. Check it out. You can't tell how big those duck eggs are, but they're really big. There you go. Those are ginormous. And next to them, there's quail eggs. I like quail eggs. You know what this is? You like quail eggs? This? Yeah, but I also like cute little quails. <laughs> We have clothes in our backyard. I know. <laughs> I need this fridge and all of these appliances. I think we're gonna eat here. Yeah. Hi. Okay, Kelsey, what did we get? Um, some sort of brisket pasta. <laughs> yeah, it I looks remember the name. really good. Yum. Yum. Awesome. Going up. They have these cool kind of walkie-talkie phones and you type in the number at the top that you see and it will tell you all about it. It's cool. It just comes for free with your pass. Yeah, there's so many of them. Look how cool. It tells you what you're learning about and then you can hear it. We're learning lots. Check out how cool. They have a movie theater. There's a couple films you can watch. What's your opinion of these awesome views? Really cool. It's nice seeing Boston from up top because you can totally spot where things are. Yeah, it's fun. I've actually really enjoyed <laughs> the audio. The audio. It's really fun. Yeah. There's some good things. I, I like learning about the places that we've been by. Mm -hmm, me too. <laughs> so we just had the craziest Crazy ride to the time. airport. <laughs> like I feel a little shooken up still yeah. from it all. And it wasn't bad. No, no. Luckily, but like. I feel like everything was handled really well. I just am like. Didn't know what to do or what was going on. So basically <laughs> our dry, our Lyft driver, like we're only a block away from where he picked us up getting out of the city. And all of a sudden we hear this wham, I feel this whack. And basically a car behind him just kind of rear-ended him really hard like yeah suddenly like we were dead stopped all traffic was stopped so it didn't make any sense yeah so anyway so he gets out to go start talking the driver to the, gets out of yeah the our car. driver starts our driver gets out to go talk to the driver of the car that hit him and we're like and oh man this sucks this is so this well, is not cool and then i'm looking back and i'm like the driver hey, of the this guy, other guy's so rude he's not he getting, wasn't out, getting of out of the car. car we're like come on guy get out of the car at least talk or look at the damage or something yeah and anyway, our driver doesn't know English very well. He knows French and Arabic, and so. But, but the other driver literally just tried to pulls hit over him and, and drives drive out. away. And so he starts driving away, and. So then we saw him driving away. So I like 
peek my head out the window and I'm like, chase after him, chase after him. And so the guy runs after him and just gets up to this intersection in front. Yeah. And we didn't want to leave, I didn't want to leave Kelsey alone and I didn't want to leave the car necessarily. I mean, the car's in the middle of this busy road. Yeah, so we're in the middle of a busy road. So meanwhile, Jake and I are still in the back of the car. We're like, well, should and I? And with the headlights on. The and, hazards going. Oh yeah, the and, hazards, that's what they're called. And so then I'm like, okay, well, I should probably go help this guy, but I gotta get the car out of the road. So I went up, got in his car, I pulled over and got us into, you know, just not out of the main busy road. And, but then I couldn't find the guy at all. Like yeah. I went up to the intersection, looked around, he wasn't anywhere to be found and I'm like, so the driver had gone to like chase the guy chase around him down. and instead the guy literally tried to drive him over. It was really bad. Um, luckily he didn't get hurt at all. But anyway, so we're just thinking, we're like, well man, we're so, running a bit late to the airport, we gotta get going, so, so what can we do to help though, this guy? Yeah, like, we're sitting in the back of the car being like, okay, well, we can't, we, can't, we don't wanna leave this guy, and also, like, we want to help him with, like, the police report and all of that. And luckily, someone on the side of the street who was walking saw everything that went down, and he had already called the cops. He had already called the cops, so the cops were on their way. But I think he didn't know what had happened either, and so he called it in as a carjacking. Yeah. I think, and so the cops like hurried really fast. Yeah. And they got there really quick. Yeah, so I don't know if that meant we were the carjackers no, or we yeah. were in the back. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> so anyway, so the, the cops were there and the, they were real nice and everything. But basically it was just a little hit and run, a little fender better. The driver came back. Yeah. Um, he had a photo of the, the, license, the license plate, plate from the car. And, um, and so it was just gonna be, the police were just like, hey, it's just gonna be a hit and run. Yeah. But the police were really nice and they had I awesome Boston I was so Boston bummed accents. though we didn't get them on video because they, they had, had these awesome thick accents. accents. Awesome. And I told them, I was like, I just finished watching Rizzoli and Isles and they pretend to film in Boston. <laughs> so this is kind of a real pleasure meeting a Boston cop and they thought that was funny. Yeah. <laughs> but I really do wish we got them on video because they were, they were awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So then, anyway, so then they, they got that figured out real quick. You know, he got information from the police, you know, yeah. gave the information to the police so they had record of the incident and then he took us to the airport and he was good. I mean, probably a little shooken up too because now he knows. I was ta talking to him in French telling him, hey, the police said you're just going to have to talk with your insurance. You have the license plate of the car that hit you. Yeah. They'll work it out and, and you shouldn't have to pay for it. But I know. I was glad Jake knew Ooh. French. I was like, that was, <laughs> was that was a good thing that you learned back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> So that was a pretty crazy ride, and I'm glad that we were still able to make it to the airport on time. Yep, our plane doesn't even board yet for 15 yeah. minutes. Yeah, it wouldn't so. have happened though if the police didn't get there so soon, and that was good. That's so true. I, like, I didn't want to leave him, but we were like, I don't know what to do. We can't miss our flight, and yeah. I wasn't going to leave his car on the side of the road with the keys in it either. Yeah. So. But overall, though, I feel like all the people we've met were really nice, except for that hit and run guy. He was, that was not, not nice, nice, but I don't think he represents Boston. No, Bostonians no, he doesn't at all. He is not. The He's norm. from out of town, actually. I bet you anything. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna plan on that. Yeah. <laughs> we're finally busting into these cupcakes. Look at this little cat. It's kind of too cute to eat. I'll eat it. So you have to eat the first bite. <laughs> Eat it. Well, time to fly home. Thanks for joining us on our fun adventures in Boston. I miss it already. I know, but we need to come back and see a Red Sox game. Yeah, it's definitely fun. Yeah.